Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for February 25th of 2024 is titled A Phoenix Aurora Over Iceland. So what do we see here? Well, here in Iceland, we look up in the sky and we see a beautiful aurora. Now, the aurora are caused by charged particles from our sun, which strike Earth's magnetic field, funneled toward the north and south magnetic poles. And when they strike oxygen atoms and other atoms, but generally oxygen in the Earth's upper atmosphere, they cause those atoms to glow. And each atom, when excited, gives off specific energies. And those energies correspond to wavelengths and oxygen when excited gives off green color. So it'll look very green when it's excited and that's what we see here. Now does it look like a phoenix? Well you might get the idea of a bird shape because of the pattern that happens to form here. Now, of course, that pattern is completely random and is just a random distribution of particles. The fact that it might happen to resemble a bird is because our eyes like to put sense to randomness. We don't like random patterns, so we try to find the matching something that we are familiar with. And in this case, once someone tells you it looks like a bird, you can kind of see the bird's head there with the outstretched wings and then the body going down toward the lower portion of the image. Now again, in fact, it's really not it's just random, but you can get these kinds of patterns and start to see uh, different things like this, just as we see different patterns in the clouds, we try to put some kind of sense to that randomness that we see. Now the aurora will occur more often when the sun is most active and we are coming out of a minimum and toward a maximum of solar activity. This solar cycle takes about 11 years to go from a minimum of activity to a maximum of activity and we're kind of in between that now heading from minimum toward maximum and we will start to see more and more of these uh, types of aurora. Now this one from 2016 from eight years ago would have been from a pre near the previous maximum. So this is what we can look forward to again. Now we'll note that also when the sun becomes more energetic, we can see the aurora at lower latitudes. Typically, they're visible at higher latitudes, things closer to the magnetic poles, which are areas of Canada and Alaska and Scandinavia, which is where we see a lot of these images in the northern hemisphere. However, when it's more energetic, we can also see things at lower latitudes. So in the more temperate zones, rarely would they get down toward the equatorial or tropical regions, simply because the Earth's magnetic field is too strong there and it would take a very strong solar flare to deform it enough to be able to see Aurora at that kind of latitude. But here we get to see an aurora that may resemble the shape of a phoenix up in the sky as taken in Iceland back in 2016. So that was our picture of the day for February 25th of 2024. It was titled a phoenix aurora over Iceland. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.